Bloody Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Hajime no Ippo chapters 1326 through 1327. So, I don't know what the fuck is going on with that mullet, but I swear to god, Keith's mullet has like some magical power or something. Because why else would he have all this fucking luck, man? I just, just don't get it. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us um, today. So we're starting off with chapter 1326. Uh, could this be the key to slaying the dragon? Wait, what? Oh, and it says here on the translation note that Ippo shirt says, Mahjong Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh my god! Reading King of Mahjong Games of Chance! Slash Games of Chance! Oh my god! Oh my god, I swear to god, if... <laughs> I swear to god, if this chapter is a Yu-Gi-Oh parody, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Alright, so chapter 1326 is titled The King of the Underworld. 25 fights, 24 wins, 2 by KO, and... Or, sorry, 21 by KO and just one draw. He's undefeated. Those aren't numbers you get just by being lucky. No, those are numbers by mullet power. There must be something about him that's we, um, that's a weakness. What am I overlooking? The freaking bullets! What you're overlooking, bro! I'm telling you! I gotta find something. Oh. The mullet, man! Oh, a terrifying right! Even if it was just an empty swing, seeing that pass by, uh, by your face would make your spine freeze. Right after his calm, uh, right after this calm left, a right will come. He's swinging. You know, it was a huge swing. It hit cleanly. I'm telling you, it is the mullet. How can it be so, how is he so accurate? It's the fucking mullet, bro. It doesn't look like he's just lucky. He must have an incredible sense of timing. Or is there something else? How do you not notice the fucking mullet, man? And his cover fire with the left is amazing, too. I know it's obvious, but having a, such a good left sets up the right to land perfectly. It's not just a matter of luck. He's really incredible. Of course he's strong. That's why he's the world champion. Accompany him. Um, let's see. Uh... Yagi-chan has to go to Shibuya after this. Of course I can go with. I'm not the kind of man to play games before a match. It's unthinkably childish and irresponsible, but our guest wouldn't take no for an answer. Our guest? What, so we're not going shopping? It's Mahjong. Mahjong? That was his condition for coming to Japan, after all. He really has that much spare time? Um, the people who saw his practice said that he's in top shape. In fact, it looks like he might not, uh, he might have, um, even leveled up since he got here. Even though he was already so strong before, he's gotten even stronger? That's, I don't plan on letting him step into the ring feeling this good. I never dream of it. We've invited the best players from Shibuya's Mahjong Parlors, the strongest pro and the longest reigning champion. That's incredible. No matter how much luck he has, he, wait. Mahjong takes four people, right? Who is the last person going to be? There was once a man renowned for going 20 years without a single loss in all of Kanto. He was so strong that he was banned from all the Mahjong parlors around. A man who's plunged into the darkness, who was banished to lurk in the shadows of the grand stages, but still reigns as king of the underworld. That's who we're sending. King? King of the underworld? It's been a long time since my plan for like this. Oh god, really? <laughs> Um, because if I might be sending someone to an early grave, uh, obviously I have to wear the right clothes. <laughs> that is the best fucking line, man. That is great. Oh my god, I love this. That is the best fucking reason to what to for this shit I've ever heard. Because I might be sending someone to an early grave, I obviously have to wear the right clothes. <laughs> How did you that would they not laughing at this? This is so fucking awesome and so hilarious. I love it so much. Well then, shall we? The king of the underworld. Dude, he's looking boss as shit. Oh my god. Um, To think that Yagi-san was a Mahjong player and the king of the underworld at that. Literally every Mahjong
Chuck Parlor in the city has a no Yagi's allowed sign poster on the door. On the door. Apparently, they don't even call him Yagi-san any, uh, they call him Yami-san around there. Um, basically, you know, darkness or underworld in this, in this context. <laughs> Dude, this is for real! Oh my god! It's not that hard to believe. Outside of boxing, that guy's super S-class at almost anything. I'll bet he hasn't even, um, gotten one bit rusty after all this time, but why did he bring Senpai along with him? Apparently he's so good that he's being, uh, he's been accused of cheating and fights would break out. Oh, God! <laughs> Ippo's there to be his bodyguard. Oh, my dude, this is gonna be amazing! Oh, my God! How is it with, like, mangas that have had, have games like Shogi or, um, I haven't had much with Mahjong-based manga, but Shogi, oh, God, Shogi manga ends up being, like, the best shit ever. Like, I don't understand how it gets so good, and how do you know Ippo is going to be in that de in department? Watch. We're here. The Mahjong Octagon. Where, where's the sign that says no Yagis? Where is it? Um, the owner of this place is someone I used to look after. Oh dear, just coming back here, I can't help but get swept up in the nostalgia. You there? We've been expecting you. Wow! Now, hey, now, don't act all thuggish like that. I brought, I brought a youngin with me. Come on. Um, Yami-san? Thanks to a word from, Yam, uh, from Yami-san, I'm the proud own, own, owner of my own bustling mahjong parlor. Yami-san! Yami-san! There it is! Um, it's all, um, it's all above board, too. So, this is a mahjong, mahjong parlor, huh? It's my first time seeing one. I thought it'd be all dark and seedy with clouds of smoke everywhere. Um, it's way brighter and clearer than I expected. Those two have been waiting for you, your two pupils from long ago. The man with the longest winning record, uh, Murakami. Um, and the current strongest player in the pros, Oi. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! It's been a long time, I never thought, um, uh, I'd get a chance to play with Yami-san again. We're totally different from how we were back then, just so you know. Um, sorry to call both of you out here out here like this. Uh, there's Jen and the Takacha. Mahjong pros even have their own uniforms? This is way different than I expected. It's really like watching sports. I'm excited, dude. I'm excited. You know, I've never been into Mahjong, but dude, this whole thing is getting me excited. I'm sure you've heard the situation already. Please don't hold back, uh, back today. No, in fact, go even harder than usual, as you wish. But wait a minute. This whole thing seems very, very, very familiar. It does. The strongest and the best, and on top of that, the king of the underworld, and then... Oh, it's a nice shot. Um, man, um, and Hotan's demon king. I'll handle the translating. Looks like we've already got all four. Let's get started, shall we? Whoa, he's huge. I see, I see. He certainly is an intimidating figure. I'm used to having big guys like this as my teammate. If you're in trouble if you if you think Mahjong and boxing are the same, buddy. Let's show you the difference between Japan and America's levels. Match start! Woo! -hoo! Thank you very much. Ideal fir uh, first, eh? What should I throw? This foreigner it wasn't even on our radar in the first place. We just came here to pay back Yami-san for beating us so badly when we were younger. <laughs> This sounds very fucking familiar, doesn't it? Hmm, just go already. Let's do this. Sorry, it looks like I win. What? Um, oh my god. So it says here, a dragon's hand here is seven pairs, a winning hand in Japanese Mahjong. He also won as the dealer and without, um, oh my god. And without discarding any tiles, making it a, um, a tenho, a heavenly hand. Uh, basically the same as his Sunday's punch. Holy shit, what? Um, heaven's cannon right off the bat. What will Yami-san do? Let's find out now. Whoa! I'm telling you, that mullet, man. That mullet, it has so much power in it. Um, in chapter 13, 27, is titled Opening uh, Fire. What? <laughs> um, I love it. I love this. Uh, Keith versus Yami-san, the Japan-America deathmatch has begun. Um, 
Let's see. It says here, uh, this is a, a play on uh, the Mahjong hand, um, uh, Dai Sengen, because the characteristics for Inu and Dai look so similar. Um, Inu means dog. Ah, I see. Um, with the um, Inu Sagen. What? <laughs> it's so funny. Woo! So, Morikawa Sensei will appear on uh, Kamishima and uh, Yamauchi's Manga Swamp on NTV. Why can't we get these great things? Why can't we have manga on TV? Oh, yeah, we can't have manga on TV because, let's be real, if they had a show like this on American TV, it would be canceled so fast, or it would be, like, PC censored and all that. It, it would. That's why I'm here. Do not allow that. Another yuck, another yuck one? You son of a bitch! You're driving me fucking mad! Besides, dogs cheat by marking their tiles by sense, so it's not a fair fight. Smack! There's only one person who could win against this pack of cheaters. Um, the strongest Mahjong man, uh, Yagi Har Haruhiko, also known as Yami-san, he's the only one. Yee. Concealed self-draw, uh, sumo. 3,000, 6,000! Reach! First, um, a first turn win, Ipatsu, 16,000. Yet again, 6,000 all! What am I witnessing here? The best of the best of Japan's Mahjong professionals um, are just getting showered in knockout punches. This is unbelievable. Um, this is insane. Look, there's no way to handle it. This is outside the realm of textbooks. Mahjong, 12,000. I can't do anything but keep my head down until the waves finally subside. I'm famous for not believing in luck or superstition. 9,000, 6,000. So let me show you the true reading of Mahjong. Reach. Uh, reach. Good. Never seen these two make faces like that before. I can't, can't show them my tears. I don't really know the rules on Mahjong, but still, I can feel it clearly. The winds are blowing. Thank you very much. Looks like the first game is my win. By the way, how much? I'm asking you, how much we're wagering here? Hold on, hold on. This is in America. This is a no gambling establishment. Mr. Keith, ga gambling is illegal in Japan. Oh, well, in that case, there's no sense of te tension. But we still have something to wager. Pride. Right now, everything um, of ourselves is laid out on this table. Something like money is nothing in comparison. I could see your entirety, uh, Mr. Keith. Interesting! Um, you put it uh, beautifully, Yami-san. If, if he brings up money again, you need to give him a warning. Any whiff of gambling could get me shut down. You're right. You're a boxer, right? Give him a good smack, like whack. I can't do that. He's a super middleweight world champion. All I can do is pray. Sumo, Rod, Sumo, Rod, Sumo. I may have said all that, but he's strong. Um, he's strong. He's the real deal. I see. He isn't called um, Manhattan's Demon King for nothing. What? Um, sometimes my eyes can can't even follow him. What incredible hand speed. He decides and moves in an um, instant again and again, all with the, uh, that right hand. The same right hand that's built up a mountain of knockouts. On the other hand, um, wait, all I hear is it's just timidly, timid, is just timidly, um, uh, timidly dealing more and more tiles. Reach! Sorry, um, that, that's it. I got Ron, and, uh, Murakami is all bark, no bite. Ron, those two are basically useless. 1,000 points, so now it's just one versus one. Stealth, uh, Yami. That's Yami-san's special yami ton. Um... Uh, do your best, Yagi-san. Cheap and lucky. Huh? What is this ominous feeling? It might be only be a few points, but its real value is in sh shaking him up psychologically. By disrupting the flow, he clearly bothered. He's he's clearly bothered. Just look at him pout. Now we begin. See, this is a hint. But that mullet, man. I'm telling you, that mullet is the weakness. I didn't d just disrupt the flow for him. For him, now I get to be the dealer. It'll come. The hand I've been waiting for will surely come. Time for some luck. It's here. No, this wasn't luck. This was fate. This deal was the result of pulling in luck from heaven and earth. I can feel his aura. You haven't changed at all, Yabi-san. He's the same as when we first admired him. It's the revival of the legend undefeated for twenty years. The continuation of the mythical thirty uh, turn wrench and begins now. You're the only one who could stop him now. Please destroy him, Yami-san! No! 
<laughs> no, why? Why do we have to wait till next week? Like, the, the, the... you're killing me here, Moikara. You are just killing me, Smalls. So close yet so far, man. This is this. <laughs> moments. This ain't one of them. But <laughs> this shit is just so fucking awesome. I, but I'm telling you, that bullet is just like the key to freaking Key's powers of luck. Get rid of the bullet, the luck goes away with it. It's like Rapunzel's hair. When you cut off Rapunzel's hair, all that power goes away with it. All that magic power goes away with it. I'm telling you, I am right on this one. I am put, I'll put my tinfoil hat on this one too. I'm right. That mullet, man. I'm, that mullet. That mullet has many secrets and many magical powers up in that thing. I call on that shit. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys thought of these chapters? Um, what do you think is going on up in that mullet? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more How to Make No Ippo content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to um, my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.